hello guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem from hebler statics and the problem says that determine the normal force shear force and the bending moment acting just to the left point b and just to the right point c of the six kilonewton force on the beam so we are given this beam and we want to find normal force shear force and bending moment at point b just to the left of this six kilonewton force and at point c just to the right of this six kilonewton force to find the normal force shear force and the bending moment which are the internal forces we need to find the reactions at point a and d so now at point a uh, we have the roller support so at a we will have only the normal force which is going to act in the upward direction and let's say that this normal force is a y and at point d we have the pin support so we will have two reactions we will have d y and d x let's say so for the solution of this problem first of all we have to find uh, a y d y and d x so again the beam is in equilibrium so we can always apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero and towards the right is our positive x direction so as we can see that we have only uh, this dx force in the horizontal direction so we can say that we have plus dx equals to zero so dx equals to zero basically so there is no reaction in the horizontal direction at d so dx is zero similarly we can apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero since the whole beam is in equilibrium and the upward direction is considered to be positive so now we have a y plus a y minus six and plus d y so we can write that plus a y minus six kilonewton plus d y equals to zero or we can say that a y plus d y is equal to six kilonewton this is in kilonewton remember so now in this equation we have two unknowns now we can apply the summation of moment about point uh, d equals to zero and we are considering the counterclockwise moment is positive so a x is producing the clockwise moment so we will write plus uh, sorry the clockwise moment is negative so minus a y and the perpendicular distance of a y from uh, that point d is this uh, nine meters distance three plus six so the moment arm for this a y is nine meters so we will multiply this with nine similarly um, this six kilonewton is force is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus and its moment arm from that point d is this six meter distance so we will multiply this uh, six kilonewton with six and this uh, dy is passing to this point d so its moment arm from point d is zero so it's not going to produce the moment about point d and this moment is a couple right so it's a free vector it can act at any point so we have to aid up um, this free vector in the summation of moment about point d so we will write that this is and it is in the counterclockwise direction so we will write plus so plus nine kilonewton meter and this is equal to zero so we will write that this is minus nine a y this is uh, 36 plus nine equals to zero so 36 plus 9 is 45 so we can write that um, minus 9 a y plus 45 equals to zero and minus 9 a y minus 45 minus will cancel out so a y is 5 kilonewton so a y is 5 kilonewton and now using this equation we can find dy so from this equation we can say that dy is 6 kilonewton minus ay 
So Ay is 5 kilonewtons. So Dy is 1 kilonewton. So Dy is 1 kilonewton. So now to find the internal force is the normal force, shear force and bending moment at point B. We have to consider uh, the segment of this beam in order to expose that internal forces. So we will, we will uh, copy this beam and we will cut this into section and we will consider a segment of this beam until point B which is just on the left of that 6 kN force. So this is our um, section. Now here we have that Ay which is 5 kN. And now we are going to consider the shear force. So the shear force at point B on this segment is going to act in the downward direction. This is the positive convention. So we will write that this is Vb. Um, and uh, we will have the normal force at point B like this let's say let's say this is NB and we will have the moment we will have the bending moment like this so this is let's say MB now the the positive convention this VB remember that always the positive convention is downward on the right hand side of the segment so this is vb acting in the downward direction so on the right hand side the shear force must be acting in the downward direction this is the positive convention uh, and we will use this throughout this chapter 7 and similarly this mb is going to be in the counterclockwise direction so the positive convention for mb on the right hand side of the segment is this counterclockwise. EB. So now first of all I am going to apply the summation of forces along X must be equals to zero since the segment AB is also in equilibrium. Towards the right is our, our positive convention. So now we have NB, this NB in the positive X and there is no other force in the horizontal direction so we can simply write that plus nb equals to zero so nb is equal to zero and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so now we can say that um, this ay this ay is in the positive direction and vb is in the negative direction so we can write that uh, minus vb plus Ay which is 5 kN is equal to 0 and from this we can say that minus Vb is minus 5 kN so minus will cancel out and Vb is equal to 5 kN similarly if, uh, to find Mb we have to consider the the moment at point a r we can consider the moment at point b since mb is again it's a couple moment and it's a free vector so it's going to act at any point along the beam or along the a b section so let's say if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so now a y is not going to produce the moment about point a since a y is passing to that point a so the moment arm for a y from point A is 0 and this VB is producing the clockwise moment about point A so we will write minus VB and the moment arm for VB from that point A is 3 meters so we will multiply this VB with 3 and this MB is a free vector it's a couple so we will write plus and MB is, we will write plus that since this MB is in the counterclockwise direction. So we will write plus MB. So plus MB equals to 0. And from this we can write that MB is equal to plus 3 VB. And this is plus 3 VB is 5 kN. And this 3 is, remember this is in meters, this is distance. So MB will be 3 into 15. 3 into 5 is 15 
kilo newton meter so just on the left of this six kilo newton force the shear force is five kilo newton acting in the downward direction and the bending moment is 15 kilo newton meter and and b the normal force is zero now um, on the right hand side of uh, this six kilo newton force we need to find again normal force shear force and the bending moment so then again we have to consider a segment ac so again we, we have to cut out the segment ac so now when we cut out ac we are left with that uh, six kilonewton force now we are we, we need to consider that six kilonewton force when considering this ac segment so we will write again here we have a y this is five kilonewton here we have six kilonewton force and this is our point of interest this is point c and and again at point c we have to represent vc the shear force so the shear force is on the right so on the right the convention is in the downward direction this is vc and this will be our nc and then we will have mc now again uh, we are considering segment ac So now again we are going to apply the equilibrium conditions so the summation of forces along x must be equals to zero towards the right is the positive direction now we have this and c only horizontal force in uh, horizontal force so again we can write that plus and c equals to zero the summation of forces along y must be equals to zero so now we have a y in the positive direction a y minus 6 kilo newton and minus vc so we will write plus a y which is 5 kilo newton minus that 6 kilo newton and minus vc equals to zero so plus 5 kilo newton minus 6 kilo newton is minus 1 kilo newton minus vc equals to zero and from this we can say that vc is minus 1 kilo newton so now this minus sign tells us that the assumed direction is not accurate vc is actually in the upward direction so this was our positive convention this is our positive assumption so that means that our assumption was not right and actually vc is acting in the upward direction on the right hand side of this six kilonewton force so vc is minus one kilonewton Similarly, we are going to consider uh, the summation of moment about point A equals to zero. The counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. Now, uh, VC is going to produce the clockwise moment about point A, and this six kilonewton force is again producing the clockwise moment about point A. The moment arm for VC and this six kilonewton is three meters. We are considering this three meters since uh, this point and the point of application of this six newton force they are almost coincident with with each other so we are considering the moment arm as three meters for six kilonewton and we be both uh, so we will write that um six kilonewton is producing the clockwise moment so we'll write minus the moment arm for six kilonewton is three then we will write minus vc so vc is minus one from here and again the moment arm for vc is three and then we will have mc mc is a couple vector it's a free vector and it is in the clock uh, counterclockwise direction so we will write plus mc this is equal to zero so now this is minus 18 And this is plus 3 this is minus 15 and this is kilonewton meter remember plus mc equals to 0 and now mc is 15 this is plus 
15 kilo newton meter so now on the right hand side of this 6 kilo newton force that is at point c the shear force is 1 kilo newton and it is in the upward direction and the bending moment is 15 kilo newton meter and the normal force nc is equal to 0 so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problems from chapter 7 by hebler engineering statics